Hi, this is Tom from CTIA, and we're here at the Nokia booth, and we have Darren Burris with us, and he's going to go ahead and display the new N900 series. And uh, just go ahead and tell us what you think about it here, sir. Well, first, I think it's awesome. It's a really, really cool device. It's actually a successor to our previous Internet tablet devices with one major exception. We actually decided to add voice telephony in here. So all you got to do is drop your SIM card in, and you're good to go. So if you're familiar with some of our previous Internet tablets, like the N810, some of the really cool f features of that, those devices uh, would be like, such as browsing and the really large screen and, and great resolution. I'll talk about some of those things here in just a second. Uh, but when we get started, let's talk about just hardware. What's under the hood? Uh, what did we decide to add into this particular device? Um, you know, unless we have a, a, a 5 megapixel camera, dual LED flash, Carl Zeiss lens. It's a nice little kickstand hidden in there as well for watching movies and things like that. We have 32 gig onboard memory, uh, micro SD support up to an additional 16 gig, so you can do the math there, you plenty of storage. Uh, 256 physical, uh, 256 meg of physical RAM on the device with the ability to go up to a gig of virtual. I'll talk about how that affects multitasking, etc. Coming up here in a second. Uh, it's got an ARM Cortex A8 600 megahertz processor. Uh, it's got its own dedicated 3D accelerator with OpenGL support. I'll, I'll show you as I demonstrate some things how that helps the device as well. Some other things. Um, believe it or not, infrared, we decided to pack everything in, into this device. Uh, 3.5 jack, so just plug in your favorite cans and you're good to go. Um, obviously, uh, uh, serial Bluetooth support as well, so you can throw in your serial uh, Bluetooth headset and, and, and go with those. Uh, it's got a slide-out QWERTY keyboard, so if you really want to get into some texting, you can do, do that as well, as well as communicate via email, things like that. Uh, it also has a virtual keyboard when necessary. If you keep it closed and you need to do some text input, it'll launch a virtual keyboard as well. So those are some of the, the hardware features. Let's talk about the interface and the operating system. It's built on MIMO 5, which is the latest uh, flavor of MIMO. That's a Linux operating system that we've used in all of our previous Internet tablets, and MIMO 5, again, being the latest version in the N900. Um, but let's talk about the, the interface as well. Right out of the gate, what we do is we, let, we give you four different home screens that you can play around with. We call it a panoramic home screen view. And so as you notice, I can slide through each of these. And now I'm back to the beginning. And you can customize each one of these, put whatever you want on each of those and, and, and make them unique. It's probably one of the most customizable devices I've ever seen. And I'll talk about some of the content on each of these and, and how I've kind of customized them so that they're, they're actually different and how I can use those, et cetera. This particular one I kind of consider like my social homepage. I've got different contacts up here. These are straight out of my contact book. I've got my Facebook feed. Um, I'm always on, online, I'm always connected, whether it's uh, via 3G or over, over Wi-Fi, so I can always see what's going on with you know friends and all that kind of stuff. I've also got some shortcuts down here. Those are actual application shortcuts. If I want to make a phone call, I can click on that. It launches the phone in portrait mode. I can launch the dial pad or select a contact from my contact list. Or if I've made a bunch of calls, it'll actually show kind of my call history here as well, so I can make a quick phone call if necessary. I'm going to close that out. Okay. Um, email conversation application. I'll talk about the conversation application here in just a second. Let's slide through these. Here's another home screen. Uh, this has a couple of widgets on here that are kind of cool. I've got my Outlook calendar, uh, Mail for Exchange support, ActiveSync. I've also got a, a cool little weather widget here that's showing me the weather in San Diego is really, really awesome. I've got a music player down here, so I don't have to actually open my media player. I can actually just play tunes from, from the home screen. Um, I've got an icon here to quick, um, uh, my image uh, browser, uh, my, my camera, uh, my media player as well. Scrolling on through, we'll talk about browsing in just a moment. Uh, on this particular home screen, I put what I call visual bookmarks. These are just pages that I've, I've browsed, and, and rather than launch the browser and actually open my, uh, my bookmark manager and, and, and find the page I want to go to or the site I want to go to, I can put sites that I like to go to frequently right on, on this particular home screen. So if I want to go to my Twitter feed, if I want to go to uh, Google or Flickr or, or, or other sites, I can do so quickly. I don't have to launch the browser to do that. This is kind of a, a traditional um, application view. These are just different application icons. Um, I put them on the desktop so I don't have to go you know, drill down into the menu to get to those. So really quick access is, is one of the really cool features about the device as well. All right, so let's talk about um, social media. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's really meant for staying connected, um, being able to communicate easily with the people that you need to. 
you notice Brad up here, he's got like a little green dot on his, uh, on his icon, on his, his contact. If I click on that, it shows you that he's, he's active. And he's actually, what is he doing? He's, oh, he's showing off the N900 San Diego. Oh, go figure that out. He's around here somewhere. And if I wanted to, from here, I, I don't have all my contact information loaded on this particular device. But if I did, if I had his phone number, his email address, things like that, um, I could actually go ahead and, and, and use those to contact. If I want to make a phone call, I'd tap on his number. If I wanted to send him an email, I'd click on his email address and it'd open the email client. In this situation, I've got our OV chat account loaded, so I'm going to click on that. And from here, all you would do is, you know, say, hey, what's going on, yada, 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 and send that out. And you'll notice what we have here. This is our conversation application. So this is actually showing the ongoing thread between Brad and I. And it goes all the way back to the beginning of the show. But it, it would stay loaded with, with our, our conversation thread until I decide to clear that out. So if I wanted to, I could, I could leave this thread going as long as I wanted to. And, and it would give me the context in which we were, we were communicating. Really, really cool. That works for, for IM's um, uh, protocols such as our OV chat, um, um, Google Talk, things like that. Uh, but we, it's, it also works the same way with, with native SMS. So if, if you're SMSing between friends, it'll continue to keep that threaded communication going, which is, which is really cool. All right, let's back out of that. Let me talk about a couple of other things real quick. Performance-wise, um, I think the video performance on this uh, device is, is phenomenal. Um, I mentioned that, that OpenGL support. I'll show a game here in just a second and how that um, works out really, really well. But let's talk about video. I'm going to open the media player. I'm going to play a little video here real quick. I'm going to let this run for just a second. Let everybody see. This is a, the new Movie 9. And you'll notice it's, I don't know if you can see it on the video over there, but it's, the quality is really amazing. I mean, to see it in person, it, it's phenomenal how clear it is. And the reason we're able to get this type of clarity is the screen's, it's a three and a half inch touch screen, but it's got 800 by 480 pixel resolution. So it's got a lot of pixels, physical pixels. It's what I would consider pixel dense. And so because of that, we're able to get really, really incredible, incredible uh, video quality. But I'm going to back out of that. If, actually, I'm going to play the beginning of it one more time. And I want to make a note of the fact that as it's playing, it's really, really smooth. It's really, really fluid. It's not stuttering or, or pausing, stopping, etc. And the reason that's possible is because, I, as I previously mentioned, the processing speed, uh, the 3D um, built-in 3D uh, uh, graphics processor, um, allows us to really get uh, some incredible performance with video and gaming and things like that without any loss in, in the overall performance of the device. And, there, and I'm going to go ahead and tab back out of that. And I want to make one quick note. As I'm doing this, you'll notice we keep coming back to this particular screen. This is our multitasking window. This is showing all the different processes, or processes that are currently running on the device. So as we were watching that video, there are actually other processes that I'd previously launched on the device before this demo that were running in the background. So the video wasn't the only thing that was running, right? So we had other things in the background that were continuing to run. The video was running on top of those, and we never saw any loss in, 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 the, in the performance of the device. Once again, the hardware, the processor, things like that are helping us to accomplish that. So that was the video quality. Let's take a look at, a, at, a, at the, the graphics support here. I'm going to launch a quick little game. It's a game we call Bounce. Um, some of our other previous de uh, devices have this game, but this is a completely different version. What we've done here with this particular game, if you're familiar with, with the game Bounce, it, it, it taps into the uh, accelerometer in the device for controlling this little red guy around a, this virtual world. But if you, if you notice, it's really, really smooth. You have some really nice shading going on here. Uh, you see the waterfall and the, and the, the reflections in the water. Uh, very, very smooth performance. The graphics are, are really, really nice. Again, this is running on top of a bunch of other processes.